like brown skin niggas. I don't use me. Right, no, we ain't the same color, bro. Y'all two the same color. I'm in between y'all two on some shit. No, I'm on the other Carmel. side. Carmel, you know what I'm saying? Complexed. Shit, y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Wo Nick. So, <laughs> yeah, we gonna not put him in front of Hey, really, keep this shit. I ain't gonna lie. All right, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Nick. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves. Starting with this coming since he can't wait. Yeah, my name is Nick. You know, I go follow me on the IG. Whoa, Nick. <laughs> um, I'm AC, IG, Carter Dyes, and underscore. And today we're going to be talking about a couple topics that is, I ain't, ain't going to say trendy, but it's just a couple of things that I feel like people will probably relate to or people are curious to know about as far as how we think about certain things and situations. So, first things first, let's say. We, uh, well, I'm gonna put y'all in perspective. Or just y'all going to the store or whatever, and y'all meet a female, and she bad, so you shoot her down, get a snap or a number or whatever. Then y'all get to texting and stuff, you know each other a little bit more. And she tell you that she got a kid. Are so you ready to be a stepdad at the age that y'all at right now? First of all, how old are y'all? Uh, so I'm 23. I'm 23. All right, so at 23, I'm 21, gonna be 22. So at the age that we at right now, how do you feel about being a stepdad? Or would you be open to being a stepdad? Honestly. No, can't be no stepdad. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. <laughs> but hey, no disrespect though. I mean, I, we still, you know, we do a little okay. thing, but. Why, why can't you do it? Cause bro, I'm not even ready to have my own kids. And then me talking to somebody, I have to be straight dad mode. I'm not ready to be a dad right now. So that's the one reason, that's like the main reason. So, yeah, I still got a lot of years of living. I ain't even got to kill myself, type of shit. So, basically, niggas is trying to fuck around a little bit more. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I wouldn't say, would say that, but it's just like, you know, just where I'm at. Like, like, I wouldn't get her hopes up on some stuff. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't tell her I'm going to be a dad. No, nah, we ain't pretty much. I feel like nowadays, mom, I feel like women with kids now that's like young. They not even on that type of tea looking for a step there. They just know that they just trying to hit it and quit it too. Like, I feel like. Plus, like, you, you wouldn't want your first kid to be somebody else's first kid type shit. Yeah. You know? So, uh, next minute in school, like, I ain't, I ain't really just got to like, like, settle for a baby mama type of yeah. respectfully. So, yeah. I'm a little kid agree, and I'm younger than both of them, so. I know I ain't trying to have a kid on my plate right now, especially, you know, if I'm trying to save up and just get on the other type of next level shit that I've been trying to get on as far as like progressing in life. So a kid, especially somebody else's kid, I definitely don't want to be responsible just yet. I feel like I got some, some growing to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we got that out the way. So let's say you meet another female or, or something like that, or you just, you know what I'm saying? You finally decide you found somebody that's worthy of taking on a date or some shit like that, or y'all agree to go out somewhere. And you know how it is today. You know, females be trying to get spoiled and all this other BS. So they got that type of mindset. Just keep that in mind. So if you go out with somebody the first time, you paying, or are you going to split it evenly, or are you going to see what you're what you going to do? We're all gonna say. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even going to lie. I'm gonna pay the first time. That's because I know I probably asked her to go out anyway, so I'm gonna pay. Cap. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. If I'm fucking with her, I'm paying. It's not even that I'm fucking with her, especially if me being a man. If I ask you to go out, I'm not gonna have you to go pay for yourself, and I'm the one to ask you to go out. That's just how I am. True. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same about that. I feel like, especially if it's a date, like. Yo, I feel like like y'all know I'm not finna just ask nobody to go out. I mean, like, yeah. I Oh yeah, this is just a short disclaimer. There's gonna be dogs in the background throughout the video. Just ignore it, please. Thank you. I think it just depends on on the situation type shit. Like if I'm wanting you to go some little meeting type shit, then like I pay. Especially right. if you trying to be seen. Yeah. yeah. Type shit. Okay. Like, well, since we on this topic, how long would y'all talk to a person before you actually take them out in public? I'll say I'll probably talk to somebody a good, 
I say month, maybe month and a half. Just because you know stuff be a little shaky. I feel like if you really gonna fuck with somebody, you you know like yeah. the first few, like the first time y'all meet each other. So like within that first time you meet each other in the first couple weeks that y'all texting, like you can tell if it's right. like it's kind of got to read the room with the vibe, right? And this shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some people might take two months. Other people, if I fuck with it, might be two weeks on some shit. That's really that too. I mean, like people just always try to put like. A stigma on shit just because of what it's like normal. I feel like you should just go with the vibe and the time in your own situation. See me, I just feel like what you feel like. I just I can go out with somebody like I, honestly I can go out with, like if I start texting person like I extra like if I'm pretty much I'm an extra to see like extra go out because I'm not a texting type person. I'm not gonna keep texting you for no month or two three weeks like yeah. No, like we just gonna either like we gonna text for a few days and I'm like, oh, you wanna go out? Depending on who you are, or we can hang out or something. Depending on who the person is, that's just yeah, that's just that's yeah. really what it come down to. Oh, no, like on who the person is. Yeah, yeah. everything just depends. Yeah, can't just bring out anybody. It's like <laughs> man, just like you ain't gonna take any random girl to meet your mama or something. So I mean, yeah, that's another thing, ladies. Don't be expecting, you know, what I'm saying princess treatment or. Or date like treatment if you ain't giving the dude a reason to want to treat you a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? Don't act a certain way and expect a certain type of treatment. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that in mind. Y'all listening to this? Don't judge us too hard on our answers and our perceptions. So, whenever you see a female that you like, interested in or attracted to, what attracts you? Like, what's the first thing that attracts you to a female when you see a female? Like. What instantly is like, oh yeah, you know, like she hard to touch. Face calling. Face calling. I'm but I'm not even a body type person. Like, I'm not even looking at the body. Yeah, I'm looking, but that's not even what I'm really paying attention to. I'm gonna look at the face. I was gonna say, yeah, you definitely I mean, yeah, like everybody look at the body though. Like, everybody gonna look at the body, but that's not my main reason why I've been trapped to you. It's the face. If you pretty, you pretty uh, that's usually what be my yeah. eye type shit. And you're not know, rah rah. Gotta be pretty and you can't be rah rah. Rah rah is like I don't know. I'm always hearing you before I see you. It's just some boisterous, loud shit. Like, like I can't you just gotta be singing like, all the time. Like why be like rah rah type shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I yeah. get rah rah, just the loudness. So <sighs> niggas are laid back. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say some. Okay, it's involving the face, but I like the first thing I look at is like a smile, like like yeah. teeth. Like you I, got pretty teeth. That's like yeah. my weakness. Like, okay. and if you like. I'm a toe type of nigga. Like you got pretty toes, pretty feet. I like that too. Oh right? yeah. If but your feet done and your feet pretty and you got a pretty smile, like. But I, okay, what if she got shoes on, bro? You don't even know what a feet look like. Shoes. I'm a sneakerhead, so I, she gotta have some heat on. She gotta have some type of, you know, at least some Yeezy slides. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gotta be no. Yeezy Maybe she ain't gotta have no heat. You know what I'm saying? She just gotta know how to dress. Just know how to dress. Yeah, yeah. Gotta dress. She ain't yeah. gotta. She ain't gotta wear all that. She just gotta know how to dress, bro. That's I mean, me. you know what I'm saying. She gotta have. Well, she ain't come out with no sketches on, some like that. I mean. Unless they look oh good, then I'm leaving. Try to put the shit on. Don't be right, right. Yeah. Be pretty. Don't have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said that's looking. That's looking pretty scarce out here. God, don't have a kid. There's too many women there that have kids. So I said to say. So as far as like females, like, do you like your females to be more like dominant or do you? Like, do you like a female that can be dominant, or you like your female like straight and submissive? I would mind her. She gotta be a little dominant. Like, she gotta be something. Cause if I can push her over, I don't even want her. Uh, that's like, if I, if I can just do what I want to do, even though I'm not saying I'm tight, I'm not tight, dude. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if you can't control, like, if you can't put your foot down and like, I can't, yeah, I can't do it. I shouldn't be able to walk over you, type shit. Yeah, definitely gotta have a mixture of both. Like, I can't just be. You know what I'm saying? Just saying whatever or doing whatever and then not feel like it's gonna be like no repercussion or not feel bad about doing it. Like it's gotta be a little bit of both hand to hand. I feel like more females are more dominant nowadays. Like they feel like they gotta have their guard up all the time. Yeah. I need my girl to have some common sense. Yeah, that but I don't, I don't want it to be like to the point where she just like like so standoffish because her guard is always up. Yeah. That's not what I mean. Yeah. Like dominance as far as like being able to Take lead, or you know what I'm saying, take control of her own situation. Like, you know what I'm saying. So, what's the oldest age you would date? Like, what's the cutoff limit? Like, 
Like she too damn old. Oh. Like cut off. I ain't see. I'm 23. I talked to, I talked to a girl that was like 27. I would, especially if she got no kids. Yeah. 27, no kids. Yeah, that's kind of young. If you, <laughs> you don't have kids, 27, no kids. That's kind of 30. That's pushing, bro. That's like, the reason I say 30 is pushing because I got a sister that's 30. Thank so you. that's really just like, uh, yeah. See, 30 kind of. What about you just trying to have a little fun? <laughs> she is 35. 35. I'm the oldest. Man. We gonna ask. Ain't gonna lie, I might touch the 40s. Whoa, we might slip and slide into a 50. I don't know. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> he said slide in that 50. Nah, you can slide out there. <laughs> 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 shit, I just like what I like. Man. So you 35. Bro. 35. See, I like that. Is I like what I like. See, I like. can't go wrong with that. Are you big on astrology? Are y'all big on like zodiac signs and shit? Man, no. Because the zodiac the stuff they say about Capricorns ain't true about me. What do they say about Capricorns? Because I don't even know. I'm a Leo and I don't even like never hear nothing about Leo. Honestly, they say Capricorns are like, like standoffish, loyal, and all oh, yeah, that. That's, that's, all that. that's opposite for you. Or like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about the, the standoffish part. Like, like I'm, they, not I'm not standoffish. Yeah. But the thing is, I mean, there's some traits they got that match me. Like, they know what <laughs> they are. Like, I mean, I don't be feeding into it for real. Like, I just kind of pick and choose whenever I talk about it. I joke around with the shot and shit, but like, I don't really just take What's note of it for real. Cause like. I just feel like the descriptions or the readings or whatever are broad and vague to where like it applies to everybody. Like they be like Aquarius or cool until you do some shit that piss them off and they look at you different. Like, duh, like you know what I'm saying? Who doesn't have apply to type shit? So I don't know. Like, you piss anybody off. Yes, you gonna get what you get. Yeah. We do get the nonchalant shit a lot though. Yeah. Oh no, we do. Are you a Capricorn too? No, I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. See, but that's they say about Capricorns too. We nonchalant. Man. I am not. That's one thing they get, got right about me. I am not a nonchalant at all. I mean, I'm a Leo, so I don't know what y'all have to say about Leos, but like, I feel like I'm pretty cool. Man. I mean, I'm laid back. I don't really do too much. I mean, I got a cool side, like fun side. I can be outspoken. So that one zodiac sign that I really, that I really got to stay away from is Cancers. I don't know why, but I, every Cancer I came across wasn't it. Just wasn't. It. Just wasn't. I'm sorry, but they wasn't it. I think I don't even I don't even be knowing like people's signs when I be fucking with them most of the time. Like I just really fuck with somebody if they cool. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't ask them all that shit because I feel like that's kind of retarded. Yeah, what's your you ask, Yeah, you can ask somebody they zodiac sign and then they act a completely different way than what it they say it is. Yeah. Like some females be like, oh, if he a, a Cancer or a Taurus, I can't fuck with him. Like, what's, what is that supposed to mean? Like, a nigga don't act the same way as a, a zodiac sign. You know what I'm saying? So has somebody ever said like they didn't want to fuck with you because of your zodiac sign? But they just they just give me a hard time about that type shit. I don't be thinking about oh, yeah. that. Shit. Oh, it's like the first thing. That's they kind of that's kind of why I like. Oh, you you just you zodiac sign and shit. You reading the stars and shit. <laughs> oh, you must listen to Jenna. Yeah, me personally, <laughs> I never had nobody say that to me. So shit, I'm cool. Man. So do y'all feel like y'all addicted to like y'all phones and social media? Cause everybody, everybody gonna say they're not addicted to their phone or social media. No, but yet you always see somebody on social media. They yeah. post every time, every day, or they. Low just key. I'm not. I can't. I mean, yeah, I'm always on my phone, but I can put I can put it down if I have to. Like it ain't a problem. Like I'm not gonna be stressing about the phone. So let's say okay. So let's say you had to not have your phone for three months as far as like social media like you couldn't all you could do was make a, a text oh account. i did that before and that's easy low-key getting off social media will make you block out the whole world like you I'm don't talk about like not even like looking at a no that's what i'm saying like, I like all i'm doing is like like texting or like calling somebody you no know, social media and nothing yeah. like that that was it. like that low-key made the world a lot like that made me feel free i did a one month cleanse last semester uh like right before our homecoming and shit like that you find yourself like putting time into other things. Like I was just watching YouTube videos. I don't really 
watch YouTube videos for real. Just watching like mm hot -hmm. videos, just a whole bunch of other shit. You just realize how much time you got whenever you off of it. But I mean, I don't think it's a problem with me. I do be on it uh, a lot, but like my social media notifications are off. Like since the cleanse, they ain't been on type shit. So whenever I get on, I just peep that I have one. Yeah. So but I don't really. I just really just stay with the bottom. Uh, to be completely honest, I feel like I wouldn't say I'm addicted, but like I feel like because I I've, I've had stretches where uh, I would go like without posting, and then people like when I do post, people be like, "Damn, where you been at?" Like, and I don't really be on my phone as much, so I feel like that's kind of like taking a break. Like, I wasn't forcing it, but I was just like, like you said, focus on other stuff. Yeah, but I feel like just not completely at least being able to like get on Instagram or some shit like. That's a whole different thing. This nigga on Instagram right now. <laughs> this, I ain't gonna lie, Instagram oh, is yeah. a hard app to not be on. Though, yeah, because, like, uh, bro, nah, that, bro, nah. that's some funny shit on Instagram. So that's really why I get on my feed every day, just so I can see some funny shit. Like, I don't even really get on TikTok like that. Like, when I do, it'd be some funny ass shit on there, too. But it'd be like a stretch before, like, before I get on. I just spoke with pictures and, like, it'd be a lot of aesthetic shit. Yeah. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I don't want to get on Instagram, but I get on Instagram just to, like, see, like, yeah, the sports highlights on there. Stuff like that. Yeah, that's damn near. That's all I see on my feed. Yeah, so. <laughs> Instagram definitely a hard one to talk about. But. I deleted Twitter. I don't need Twitter. Yeah. I could never really get into Twitter. Like, it'd be, like, funny. And it, the most relatable stuff be on Twitter, but as far as, like, posting and being more interactive, I don't really post on there it's, just because I feel like. It's crazy, though, because, like, just how ironic it is. Because, like, it's a, it's an app for you to say what you want, but I be feeling like I can't say what I want on that. Yeah, sometimes it's gonna be tweaking. Or sometimes you feel like you have something to say that you feel like like needs to be heard, or you feel like you want to be heard about some shit, and you don't really be heard for real. Like you think, yeah. I feel like it'd be that kind of space. Don't be trying to step on your toes. So what would y'all say? Like in closing, what would y'all say is like the big uh, misconception about you is that you probably think like people view you as like what would you think? Uh. I get that I come off like as mean type shit, unapproachable. I, I can see why they say that because I do say to myself, you know, when I'm walking around, like, I see you around, I probably give you a head nod or whatever, but like, that don't just mean that I'm just kind of shunning everybody off. Like, I, I talk to the motherfuckers and like, I'm spoken to type shit. Yeah, so, like, you know, it's, uh, I'm just real reserved until you get to know me, then I'm the opposite of that. Yeah, I feel like people say the same shit with me, like, because I'm always, like, kind of quiet. They feel like I'm unapproachable, too, or just, like, I'm always mad or some shit. But I really be chilling. Like, most of the time, somebody see me on campus, I got my AirPods in, and I'm just getting from point A to point B. And I give you a head, and I don't be mad. I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. Shit, I wish I could say the same thing. They just said, but... <laughs> No, <laughs> damn, I can go on about this list. Damn, not man. too long. I don't know. Oh, it sounds like you got enemies or some shit. No, nah, I ain't got enemies. Like, no, nah, people don't ever just don't hate. Like, people don't say they don't like me. So they just be like, uh, he friendly. Or, uh, I always see him like he always out. But, yeah, crazy things. I'm really, it's not even about the friendly thing, but it's just like, I like to give out positive energy. I'm not gonna be mean. I can have, be like, have an old attitude with people for no reason. Like, if I know you, I'm gonna speak. Like I'm not just gonna be just looking at you and not saying it. I'm just not that type of person. So I guess me being like me being out and going talking to people is friendly, which I mean they got their opinion, you know what I mean? Cause there's people that we all see every day, you know, and they just look at you like they don't know you. They just, they just, they really, can just they really can just speak. Like just say what's up and keep moving. Yeah, it's always gotta be an awkward ass. Yeah, moment. like you better make me get on a whole other topic. You <laughs> on this topic right now. Yeah, man. What's on your mind, man? What you got to say? Man. <laughs> 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 Y'all niggas got some questions. Fuck it, this the first episode. What made you want to start this off? What made, I mean, let me just scratch out. What made you want to start the podcast? Uh, so the reason I started the podcast is really because, like, ever since really high school, I've always been watching, like, YouTube, and once I seen, like, just different little videos and stuff, I kind of got into it, so 
Like, it was just always a thought in my head since high school about starting a YouTube, but I never really did it. Like, and then I didn't want to be like one of those people to be like, um, you know, I wonder what would have happened if I would have tried the podcast and then I never tried it. So I was like, I'm at least give it a try just to see how it go. So, like, if it worked, it worked, but it don't, it don't. At least I tried. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, anybody could hit There's gonna be a lot of people afraid to just do it. Yeah. And I feel like I kind of be having like times where we be talking about certain stuff. Cause I feel like we be having like some good conversations and yeah. in conversations. So I'll be like, why can't I put it on the podcast? Yeah, we had a fly on the wall for some of our conversations and just sit with me. So I miss out on a lot of good conversations. Yeah, we had one of them going on. We got some good little tape. Yeah. So I mean, that's kind of the reason behind it. Put some, some more stuff into the air and just like make it a podcast. If we gonna talk about some good stuff, might as well not try to make some out of it, so. Yeah, new perspectives. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people get to like know you better too, like in the mm-hmm. way you think, just in, like if they have a perception of you, like I feel like this will probably be another way uh, for people to get to know like how I think and just, you know what I'm saying, who I am as a person. I guess. Yeah, hopefully it's y- y'all learned a little bit about us. Uh, all the people that know us that watch this, hopefully y'all get to know a little bit about us because I know everybody probably think you know stuff about us, whether you know we crazy or just we whatever. assholes, X Y Z. Yeah, so and you know, probably yeah. never said nothing to us a day in your life. You just go off of what you see off social media, what you just think, just because of the way we look, dress, and all that. So, or what other people may say, but we ain't gonna get into that, but yeah. Not today, of course. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the first episode, trying to see how everything was. Uh, hope y'all had a pretty good feeling about this. I don't know, I can see it, I can see it, man. We, we just yeah, sure. I can see it, it's gonna make some shape though. Yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy it too, the people that's watching. Hopefully y'all enjoy the, the videos, and we're gonna be bringing some more videos with some different topics just to talk about. Or if y'all, want to know something about something or just know how a guy's perspective is on some stuff, just let me know or let us know and we'll put it in the video, so. I have to make a Dropbox for this. Dropbox, so yeah, Dropbox, comment, whatever you want to do. So you can give us something to talk about next time. Yeah, and we always going to have something to talk about for y'all, so don't even worry about that, but <laughs> you know, y'all might have some good stuff to talk about too, so. We're going to go ahead and get up out of here. We appreciate y'all for listening to us. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. See ya. Where you wanna be ya?